What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time stopping in, don't forget to go down below and hit that subscribe button. It is a slightly overcast, very cloudy day in the Northwest. You guys can't see, but I'm not gonna adjust the camera. We are back here at Preston's house, of course. And today we are working on his truck, as you saw in the beginning of this video. We started tearing off some parts at the front end because we are going to get into installing. This is your cube. New steering brace from Dodge Off-Road. They're not sponsoring the video. I purchased it because it's the best steering brace out there. So like you said, we're going to install this Dodge Off-Road steering brace today. And uh, we'll go over all the torque specs and how to get it installed in this video. So stay tuned. Comes with all the bolts you need, nuts and bolts. They supply it. Comes with an extension shaft for your pitman arm, or underneath your pitman arm. And this all its bearing itself, but it has a little grease shirt on there. We'll grease it later in the video. That's it. That's it. So, first step, we're gonna get the sector shaft onto the um, where the pitman arm is on the steering box. So we already took the pitman arm bolt off the steering box, which we'll show you here in a minute, and that sector shaft's gonna go on um, instead of having that bolt on the pitman arm. So as you saw, we took the bottom bolt out of the steering box. We took the two bolts out of this side of the sway bar, which is a 15 mil, and we loosened the two on the other side. We popped off the nut off the bottom of the pitman arm, um, that, the end that goes to the brace. And right now we're about to put the sector shaft onto the bottom of the um, steering box brace here. Put the washer on, and then Lock just- for the supply. Alright, so we just got the brace on, you slide it over the sector shaft and then in between the sway bar and the frame and then put that um, bottom bolt in for the steering box and don't tighten it down on the way because you want to leave it loose so that way you can get the front bolt in still. Now he's installing the supplied nuts and bolts for the front of the um, steering box brace. You're gonna put the flat washer on the bottom and the lock washer on top.
All right, now you can take the supplied bearing and put it onto the sector shaft with the supplied three quarter inch bolts. And you also don't want to forget to use some anti-seize on the sector shaft that way it doesn't seize up on the bearing. Now he's tightening down the two little tiny uh, bolts on here. They're Allen head size is an eighth inch. They just secure to the shaft. I guess. Make sure it doesn't move. And now he's going to add some grease onto the grease fitting. All right, so first we're gonna to torque down the bearing bolts, which are 50 foot-pounds. Next, we're tightening down the sway bar bolts, which are 40 foot-pounds. And now he's also gonna tighten down the other side because we need to loosen that side, that way you can move the sway bar a little bit. Next up, we're gonna tighten down the front skid plate bolts, which are a 5 8 and also 40 foot-pounds. So last, we got the steering box bolt, which is 13 16 and that's 60 foot-pounds. And I forgot to tell you, but the sector shaft bolt is going to be 185 foot-pounds of torque. So as you guys can see, we've got the brakes completely installed. Now we're going to go and let the truck warm up and then take it off for a test drive. Yeah, let's go. I'ma make a couple stacks, do exactly what I want to. Mix a couple tracks, get a lady that I'm drawn to. Turn up to the max, get me faded till I'm gone. All right, guys, so we just got back from our test drive. We didn't do any recording in the truck because there's not much to record other than talk, which you can't really hear us anyways because the um, truck's too loud from the inside. But what do you think of the new brace? What's your thoughts and how did it perform? The brace is probably excellent for the, for the money for who makes it, even though it's, dodge, it's a Dodge off-road brace, they're been known to have bad customer service. This this one's pretty good. I mean, it took a lot of slop, little little baby slop out, even though I have the redhead gearbox in there and the crossover steering, but it did help a lot of stiffening it up and wanted to return back. So it helps a lot more on the, the wheel coming back to you in the, in the hands. So. so a buy or a don't buy? I'd buy it for the amount of money it costs, and these trucks need a brace no matter what. Those three bolts that go onto the frame rail itself, it's just no time along. It, that you're, even though if you have a redhead gearbox, the best box around, it's still going to blow out that box. All right, guys, so you heard it from him. So if you get it and you don't like it, you can blame him, not my fault. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But anyways, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to shoot a thumbs up. If it's your first time stopping in here, don't forget to go down below, hit that subscribe button. We're almost at 3,000 subscribers. I really appreciate all your guys' support so far. Um, I am going to be getting one on my truck here too soon. I was going to get a different style, but I might end up going with the same one just because it's the best one on the market that we've seen yet. The other ones go across um, the whole entire frame, which mount up underneath both sway bar. Um, brackets, but I've heard a lot of problems with that because it causes tweaking problems and all that stuff. But it brings your sway bar down even lower, which is even worse.
worse than what we have. Right, with the angle of the sway bar. But again, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to shoot a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button below, and we'll see you in the next video. <laughs> it's been a minute. <laughs> this is the shaft part. All right, you can see we got the blaze. The blaze.